All right, all right, what's happening in the world of personal finance this week? In this video, I'm gonna give you some more news about the stimulus talks back on the table. Um, unemployment, got an update in California from yesterday, all right? Um, I've got some uh, comments uh, to respond to and a question uh, from viewers of uh, videos from last week. And stick around, at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you, uh, for those of you that wanna be an employee, a great opportunity where you can be an employee. You can earn up to $83,000 a year and still drive for Uber and Lyft. So that's at the end of the video. All right, let's get into it. All right, hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy drinking my Nespresso. It's a Saturday and it's 12.30 in the afternoon. But I still want to drink my Nespresso. You guys... Uh, by way of background, you may have remembered uh, a couple weeks ago, I shared with you I got a sleep score because of my aura ring of 90. Get ready for this. Last night, went to bed at 7.30, woke up around 5. I only woke up once and I didn't even get out of bed. I just kind of rolled over. Nine hours of sleep. I got a score of 95. Never have done that. Never, ever have done that. So that's a good sign. That means like my body and my mind are starting to kind of relax and um, and sleep is the best thing you can do to live a longer healthier life to be thinking clearly i mean that's like the number one thing so i'm really happy about that all right enough about me let's talk about you let's jump into the news okay number one stimulus talks so as you all uh, know by now rbg the notorious rbg she passed away um, I highly recommend the documentary uh, RBG. It, I watched it after she passed away. It was so inspiring. What a woman. What a life. Um, highly recommend that. I think I saw it on Hulu, but you'd have to double check that. Um, but I'm sure you can get it on Amazon Prime for a small rental fee. Really good. Really good. So there's a lot of news now about the next uh, Supreme Court nominee. Um, as of this morning, it sounds like it's... Um, uh, this woman, I can't think of her name, Coney, Coney Barrett, uh, Coney, Coney, Coney Barrett, Amy, Amy Coney Barrett. I think that's what it is. Amy Coney Barrett. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll write it out at the bottom of this when I edit this video. So you know who I'm talking about. Looks like it's going to be her. And that's taken up a lot of the news, um, which to me made it seem like, oh my God, the stimulus package has just got to be dead. Who's going to have time to deal with it? But here's what we see. Uh, this is just today. Stimulus package talks are set to restart. What it could mean for another check. And it says, after nearly two months of negotiation, negotiators talking around each other, Mnuchin and Pelosi said this week that they'll return to the bargaining table to work out another rescue package, um, which could deliver a second round of stimulus checks. I've probably spoken to Speaker Pelosi 15 or 20 times in the last few days. Woo woo! And we've agreed to continue to have discussions about CARES Act. In tandem with the rekindled talk, House Democrats are reportedly working on a new legislation with, a, with aid around $2.4 uh, trillion. That's $1 trillion less than the original bill that they uh, put, to, put forth in May. The new bill would address enhanced unemployment. So you know that if Pelosi's involved, that's the $600 per week would continue. She's not going to go with anything less than that. Um, direct payments to qualified Americans, that would be the $1,200 stimulus checks. PPP for small business, et cetera. The new house bill could be ready for a vote by October 2nd. That would be the end of this week. So that's exciting. Keep your fingers crossed. For those of us that aren't working because of the, the pandemic, um, this could be really, really good news. Okay, number two. So on the, uh, on the shadows, on the uh, shoulders of that is the unemployment benefits. So what we've been getting is called the LWA, Lost Wages Assistance, which is five to six weeks of $300 a week. We can see here, uh, CNBC, $300 unemployment benefits end in at least nine states as stimulus hopes fade. All right, so that's just saying that some of the states have actually already paid out all five or six weeks um, to, to their, their citizenry, and uh, that's it, right? There's no more funds from FEMA to pull from, so that's it. So. Uh, we really need the stimulus uh, bill to, to, to get passed. Uh, in California, 
Uh, I saw this yesterday. Next round of $300 unemployment assistance payments begin next week. That would be on Monday. So on, on tomorrow, I certify for two more weeks. And then I'm hoping that on uh, Monday, um, they're going to send me another uh, 600, which would be two times 300. So right now, California is approved for five. Although, as you can see here, it says um, in that same article, the EDD confirmed California has been approved for a potential sixth and final week of the $300 payment um, that would cover the week ending September 5th. In its update, the agency said the EDD will closely monitor, be closely monitoring benefits paid for the first five weeks of the LWE program to ensure that sufficient federal funds remain before issuing a six week of $300 payments. So it really comes down to, is there enough money in the FEMA budget to pull from to pay out that extra 300 for the sixth week? So again, we're, we're at the behest of the government. Let's hope they come through for us. Okay, number three, comments from you all. You all, thank you very much for the comments. I, uh, I usually just go from the top down. So let's see what we got. All right, so the first one, uh, negative comment. Uh, more like senior Uber collaborationist and sellout Jay Crater. Uh, someone named Seal. I, uh, I vociferously disagree with you, Seal. Uh, your memory, very, very short. Nine times out of 10, I am anti-Uber and, and, and it, it, it almost pains me to side with them on Prop 22, uh, but compared to what the other option is, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Now, All right, this is pretty cool. We, uh, Harry's put together a poll. We wanna know what you guys think about Prop 22. How are you gonna vote? Are you going to vote yes? Yes, um, uh, I, I, I want to remain an independent contractor or no, no, I want to become an employee of Uber. Those are the choices. Uh, just uh, go below in the description and uh, you'll see the, the, the poll. Click on it. We'd love to hear what you have to say. All right. Uh, appreciate the advice, Jay. Thank you. Uh, Papa Jib, I lived in Shanghai, Thailand, 20 years. That's awesome. Yes. Um, in the last video I shared uh, about going to Thailand and living there for a year. I thought in California the executive order was for eight weeks. No, right now it's approved for five and they're trying to get a sixth. And then Tina, she uses Hurdle. It's been an asset for her business. That was something I recommended last week. Okay, the next page. Um, good stuff about looking long term to your end goal. That's great, uh, Daryl. Oh, thank you, uh, Mike Wang. Daryl, I went to the Philippines and stayed there for 30 days. What an experience. All right, so you guys seem to like the, uh, the chat about traveling and setting a big vision. Danny Alvarez, my account just got deactivated. What can you do? All you can do is um, contact Uber or Lyft um, and ask them why, and then provide as much information as you can to support your case and it just takes time and that sucks. Hopefully you're in a market where you can have one, you can have both Uber and Lyft and then you can just drive for the other one. That's what I did for six weeks when I got deactivated. Hey Jay, I've been watching your videos since April. Thanks, I got my 1K grant in, in April and loan. I'm super happy, keep up the good work, thanks. That's awesome about your fitness journey. Yeah, been getting some good sleep. Check my unemployment, listen to this. Got um, $1,800 in one lump sum here in Illinois. That's awesome. Uh, thank you, Jay. Best video yet. Very inspirational. Okay, another acknowledgement that you like the uh, kind of personal development stuff. That's great. Um, I got a little something at the end to share with you. I'm here in Ohio. Got all six weeks. Here's another one. Got $1,800 right off the bat. One, one fell swoop. Um, and then this guy. Uh, wow, really great video, Jay. You definitely inspired me 100%. I share in the exact same goals as you. Travel, see the world, make money on my laptop. I never leave comments today. Just felt enormous need to express my gratitude to you. LOL. That's great. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I covered your name with the red box, but uh, really do appreciate it. Okay, number four. So you want to be an employee. Let's talk about this company called Shift. All right concierge and drivers. So what Shift is, it's a e-commerce service that buys and sells cars. Okay, they have great customer service and that's where you come in. They need people to uh, conduct test drives, do pickups and deliver the cars to the customers. Okay, so you'd be called a car concierge with Shift. You'd be a W-2 employee and you'd have the option of being a part-time or full-time worker. You'd also be responsible for guiding customers through the car buying and sales process 
um, engaging in their customer experience at hubs. Okay, you'd set your um, you would have a set schedule with uh, an hourly wage um, to give you some predictability. Okay, um, shift states are part time. Employees can make up to 37,000 annually, while our, our full-time employees can make up to 83K. As you look at another part of the website, here it says a flexible schedule, reliable earnings, growth and development, fast support, good reasons to become a concierge. So if you look below this video, there's a link uh, to it. And if you don't have a plan B and you're looking, you really wanna be an employee of a company that's on the move, um, just click on the link and go check it out. Um, it sounds like a great opportunity and you can do that and still be an Uber and a Lyft driver at the same time. So you got some real stability and this extra thing you can do. Okay, number five, last thing I wanted to share with you, something I'm rediscovering and that is the importance of taking time off, relaxing. I shared with you that I got nine hours of sleep. I think part of that is because I'm not working as many hours during the week. I am purposely taking time to take walks. I'm taking time to go away. Uh, here's some pictures of me uh, with my friend Bill, all right, when I went up to Lake Tahoe, right? Uh, I got some time to hang out with him. Um, here's a picture. Uh, I like to go out and take walks and a beautiful picture of a sunrise. You know, this whole thing about smelling the roses. Um, here's me on a walk that was up in Lake Tahoe, uh, nothing but uh, nature around me. Really, really beautiful. So I know we all have different uh, time commitments, um, but my invitation um, for your health and your well-being is set aside some time to take uh, time off. There's a fantastic um, documentary called The Social Dilemma on Netflix, and it really explains how... Um, addicted we all are to our phones and how not good for us that is. So my invitation is shut off the phone, put it down, go take a walk, um, go on a trip, go take a, you know, go take two days, you know, book a hotel. I'm going actually this weekend, I'm going back up to Tahoe because it was so good for me to just get away and breathe some clean air and take some walks and eat some good salads with salmon. Um, so it's my suggestion, my recommendation. Take some time off. It just feeds everything else. What I found is when I came back from Lake Tahoe last time, I was more effective um, in my in my coaching and more effective in my other uh, other things that I do for work. So um, it works, right? More of a balance, right? Not all work, 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 and very little relaxation, but more like that. Key takeaways. We're in, always in a wait and see, aren't we? We're in a wait and see with uh, more unemployment and, and the stimulus talks, you know, in terms of getting stimulus checks and things like that. Um, I shared with you a really great opportunity with uh, Shift. Check that out. And I've invited you to take some time to breathe some air, smell the roses, as they say, and uh, let that um, color your world. Let that have you uh, be more relaxed, more pleasant to be around less stressed, and all of that will make you more effective at your job, um, which you can then do uh, make more money. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up. That helps more people to see it. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is subscribe to our channel, right? Uh, Harry works really hard. Behind the scenes, Harry's working really hard, making sure that all these great videos are getting put up on YouTube every single day and uh, you get to watch them and you get notified about it if you sign up for notifications and you keep learning more and more and more about this industry, about the gig economy and about finances. And that's what we're all about, helping you to make more money in less time. You'll go ahead and have a great day. Be safe, wear a mask. See you next time.